Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little craft video for you guys. This video contains three super easy but fun Valentine's Day crafts that you can do with either a loved one or by yourself if you're just bored and want something fun to do. And they're all very affordable to make as well. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the video. So first up, we're going to make these potted love plants, I guess. <laughs> They're little conversation heart plants basically and they're very very easy to make i just got these cardboard planters from hobby lobby and i painted them to match each conversation heart steak um these little well i don't know if they're steaks or sticks anyways these conversation heart sticks i got from hobby lobby were super heavy so i couldn't really use them in my valentine's day tree so this is the solution i came up with so as you can see i have four different colors and i matched each pot uh with the conversation heart so first up is the yellow one and I have some flower foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut this little foam into three pieces so that it fits into each of my little potted plants and uh, you're going to need like a sharp knife for this so if you are underage then please ask an adult for help so I just stuff the floral foam all the way to the bottom and then stick the conversation heart all the way down to the bottom and I did get some flowers from the Dollar Tree I got one for each conversation heart to match um, for the colors so this one because it's yellow it's getting the yellow flowers and as you saw there I was just fanning out the flowers and sticking it right behind the conversation heart so that is what it will look like and then to cover up the flower foam I am using some white stones that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just filling it up so that it also acts as a weight because like I said the Hobby Lobby conversation hearts were very heavy so it needed a little bit of weight on the bottom others it just kept tipping over so that is why I went with stones and I feel like the white stones looked very pretty and matched well with the pastel colors I was going for so I had four potted plants but for the four plants, I only needed three of the stones. So if you are making four, just get three sacks of stones. And then I just repeated these steps for all of the other colors and the final result was so pretty. If you wanted to know where I got all of the items from and what paints I used, please uh, refer to my video, my haul video. I will link that down below and I'll put a card up here somewhere, but I did do a haul with all of those details, so make sure to check that video out. The final result was so adorable. They just look like little conversation hearts that are just sprouting out and um, they're very affordable to make as well. So I highly suggest if you love making crafts, I would try this one out. Comment down below which color is your favorite. I feel like the mint one is my favorite color. Our next craft will be a love potion. I have been wanting to do this since like two years ago, but I never got the chance and I'm so glad I finally did. This turned out so pretty and magical. So you're going to need a few things. Um, I got this heart bottle from Hobby Lobby and I think I got it half off. I think it was only $1.99 originally. And I also have some styling gel from the Dollar Tree. And make sure the gel is clear or at least a light pinkish hue and here I have some random packages of glitter I don't know which one I will be using yet but I just have a little variety and I also have some sequins here still don't know if I'm going to be using those and I have some nail little things I don't know what they're called but they're iridescent and they were very pretty and these were also like for nails, but uh, there's like little plastic iridescent chips. And here is some red 
food coloring, which please be careful when adding food coloring. It is very, very strong, so you just need a little bit. And then just in case I have this little piping bag from the Dollar Tree and a wooden stick. But instead of the piping bag, I will tell you now, I ended up just using a Ziploc bag, which worked out a whole lot better. <laughs> so I did try to first just do it directly in the little heart bottle, but it was very messy and kind of hard to mix around all the glitter and stuff. So I turned to my trusty Ziploc bag. So I just squeezed some of the gel in there and then I added a little bit too much red food coloring. Like I said, you just barely need a dot, if that, because I was going for a very light pink hue for the gel, but it just it turned out way too dark for me. Um, I wanted the light pink so that you could see all the iridescent glitters and stuff that I add to the gel. Um, it, but I mean choose whichever color you like of course if you like red go for red if you want to do an ombre I feel like that would look really cool it would be more time-consuming but it would still look very cool so um, yes <laughs> when you're mixing around the gel and the food coloring please make sure that the ziplock is sealed as I learned here and all you do is just massage the color through and I like the ziplock bag because you can actually see exactly what your concoction will look like unlike the piping bag it was just it would have been really hard to tell what the color would be and everything so uh, i really liked using the ziploc bag so i ended up adding more gel a lot more gel actually to get it a little bit of a lighter color and this was the fun part um, i just added whichever glitters i wanted here i'm just using this white iridescent glitter which was really really pretty and i also ended up adding some pink iridescent flakes and some iridescent hearts um, which I usually use for my nails, but they just turned out so beautiful and just it catches the light ever so slightly and I loved it. So just keep adding till your heart's content and you get the result that you are looking for. And then you can push all of the gel potion to one corner of the Ziploc bag and then snip off the tip and then you can pipe that concoction into the glass bottle. And then with the wooden stick, I just popped any bubbles, like air bubbles, and filled in any gaps. And it just kind of pushed the gel where I wanted it to go. And if you have any glitter specks or hearts or anything that you want to be in a certain spot, you can just move it around with this wooden stick. And then I just put the top back on and glued it shut with some hot glue to make sure that it was secure. So I wanted to do a wax seal for this little glass bottle and I didn't have any pink wax so I just used some old candles. I had some white wax and red wax from these candles and I just mixed them together and it created a very pretty blush pink color. If you're wondering, this little tea light and the spoon is from a wax melting kit. Uh, so is the little stamp that I use. But you can always just use a regular spoon and a tea light candle or a lighter and melt the wax together and then use some metal coin or something to create an imprint. The first time I did this, the wax imprint did not work out very well, but I just melted some more wax and just built on top of what I already had and created a thicker base and then it turned out perfectly. My stamp has an S and I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. So um, you can use some shimmer eyeshadows like I did here, but I did end up just going back and using some gold rub and buff which I got from Hobby Lobby, just to make it stand out just a little bit more. And the best part is you can decorate this bottle however you wish. I just added some sequins on the bottom and some iridescent hearts. And I also added some extra wax strips on the sides just to make it look a little bit more magical. And finally, we are moving on to our last and final craft, which are these yarn hearts. They are super affordable to make and you really only need three items. For this craft. All you will need are these cardboard heart-shaped tags, 
You will also need some yarn. You can choose any color, of course, but I went with red, blush pink, and hot pink. And you will also need hot glue. And if you are wondering, I actually got all of these items from the Dollar Tree. So I basically just start off by gluing down the end of the yarn so that it stays put when I try to wrap it around the heart shape. And when wrapping the heart, make sure you get yarn evenly dispersed all over the heart. Um, you just kind of have to <laughs> figure out how to do that. I do mess up a few times as you can see here, but if you do need help, you can use the glue gun to kind of glue down um, the yarn because it does slip and slide all over the place. But I basically try to just hold it in place with my thumb and just tied it around over and over again. The heart that I'm showing you here was the last heart that I did and I was just trying to finish up using all the scraps from the previous yarns. So uh, I started off with the blush pink and kind of built up the base and then I went in with the hot pink to continue building up the heart. And the heart shape was still not fully covered so thankfully I had some red yarn left over and I ended up using that and you can kind of see the pink showing through but it still looks very pretty and to finally tie off the end of the yarn I just put a little bit of hot glue at the end and just glued it down and I just love the end result of these yarn hearts they just look so cute and cozy at the same time and they just add just a little bit of extra cozy detail to my valentine's day decor Alrighty, you guys so that was it for this valentine's day craft video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know which craft was your favorite i'm still deciding i loved all of them and they were so fun to create if you do end up recreating any of these crafts, then please tag me in it so I can repost your creation. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Valentine's Day!